picture that this man is very dark and very vivid. What I'm going to show you here on my website, uh, I got his account open on YouTube, and I want to show you that uh, on here, he's got everything blocked. In other words, subscribers, except for only just showing how many people has viewed his account. It also shows how long that this man has had his account open, October the 25th, 2010. It looks like this account was just recently made and made it look like this guy has been a long time activist and, and involved in trying to overthrow government or target government officials. And I personally don't think that this guy was actually involved in any of it. I think this is a fake uh, uh, YouTube account. And the reason why I go and look at it, they said that he also has a MySpace account as well. And who puts their first and last and middle name up there? Right. And, and yeah, that's another thing that I want to bring y'all's attention. Let me go back there again. If you look at this, have you ever noticed anyone uh, hardly ever puts their real name? I've never seen anybody actually use their real full name uh, on their account as a way, you know, when they're, when they're creating an account with YouTube or any kind of blog, they usually try to create a screen name so that no one knows who their true identity is. And what I'm about to show you now is I'm going to show you where the governments have removed his uh, so-called MySpace account. And, it, and it's even posted on here uh, on his YouTube account. So again, I'm going to take you here. And there's right here, you'll see where I'm clicking on with my mouse. This is uh, his hyperlink that takes you directly to his MySpace account. But as you can see, his MySpace account has been uh, deleted. Why would they delete this information or delete this page? And how could he be able to do it if he's in jail? It don't make no sense uh, how, how they show you the YouTube account, but they don't show you his MySpace account if, he, if this guy was a legitimate uh, individual. But what I'm going to show you that's even more important than that and disturbing to me is this right here. I'm going to back it up, and I'm going to take you to Gabriel, uh, to Gabriel's uh, YouTube account, the congresswoman who was shot in the head supposedly. And this, as you can see, that shows her name up here. This is, shows that it is her account, and it, this is her for her uh, campaign purposes where, where she has his account. It shows all of the videos and interviews that she's given on television, and. As you go here, it just gives all the information of who her subscribers are, her personal information, how many viewers, blah, blah, blah. Okay, if you go down here, it shows who subscribed to her account, but it also shows at the very bottom who she subscribed to. And as you can see right here on this left-hand side where it shows subscription, it shows it two people that she had subscribed to. And the one in particular it is this one right here, which I'm fixing to click on and watch where it takes you to. It takes you straight to Jared Lee Lorner's account. Now, I find this quite disturbing.